Marco. Good morning, Anna. And this is our softbox assembly tutorial. First, we'll go over the uh, the different parts of our softbox really quick. Um, we have the softbox itself, which is uh, a cloth on the outside and silver or metallic material on the inside. We have the front baffle, which is the piece that goes on the front of the box, the internal baffle, the mounting plate, which is uh, how most of the softbox ends up being held together via this, uh, this plate, which is made out of plywood. The mounting bracket itself, which is the piece that mounts to our light stand via this little piece here, and then our flashes will mount uh, on this little stud that can be adjusted for different heights for different uh, different types of flashes or different types of uh, if you were using like the cactus v4 triggers or, or things like that where the flash actually mounts on something then this should allow for that um, there's also uh, two uh, how long are these 36, 36. inch uh, 36 inch long coat hangers with bins in the ends that we use during the construction phase there are these two uh, 24 inch bent coat hangers that we use uh, during the construction phase and then we usually just leave them in the soft box once, once it's constructed and then these two uh, five foot long pieces of uh, hot cold PVC um, now we can see they've got kind of like a permanent bend in them because we've been using them in the soft box a lot um, but when you first use them they, they won't have that bend in them but that shouldn't matter so basically it's one 10 foot piece of PVC that's been cut in half uh, for that. For that. So first thing we're going to do is take our plate and, uh, sorry, first thing we're going to do is take the mounting bracket and mount it to the light stand. So that just kind of goes on here like so. And we want to make sure that it's tightened down really good and tight because it's going to be supporting uh, the weight of the entire rig. Which it, it doesn't weigh very much. We haven't weighed it, but it's, uh, I think it's only... only three or four pounds probably. So we've got that mounted very well. Next we want to take the mounting plate and using the little vinyl wing nuts we're going to mount it to the front of the plate. And I usually like to uh, to do this just because it makes it aids in the construction, makes it a little easier to do the construction. So. Now we've got that, we're going to take our PVC pieces and slide them through the brackets. We'll see on these PVC pieces we've marked a, a center mark on each one so we can see where the, the center of the pole is. Same thing for the other side. to take our coat hangers and mount them in the ends of each piece of PVC and make sure that's centered when we're done. <laughs> and same thing for this side. And putting that little bit of bow in the pipes will usually hold them in place here. We would just want to make sure that they're centered that are good before we start putting the rest of it together. The two 24 inch coat hangers we're going to place in Across the top and bottom, which will give it the shape of the final product, which we can show you here real quick. So basically, that will be the shape of the soft box once it's all put together. I then like to pull it back off the mounting bracket so that we can put all the cloth pieces on, which that is usually a little easier off the uh, off the stands. So pull that off real quick. And mount the softbox piece. You'll see the softbox itself has a little notch in the back of ours that we made to match this, uh, this extension on the mounting plate itself. So we just want to make sure that we have that lined up. The Velcro pieces that are on the mounting plate, we want to match them up to the Velcro that's on the soft box. So we just kind of put those pieces into place. Should have all my 
Velcro pieces in place. And on the front side, we're going to take our corners and tuck them into the corners here. And there, and there, and there. Issues with my wires there. And then in our soft box, we found that it's usually a good idea to remove the long wires at this point. And then the tension from the PVC pipes themselves uh, tend to hold the shape pretty well. So we'll have to pull the long wires at this point. And the short wires we leave in place. Because so. the short wires help uh, keep it from bowing together, it seems, since we don't have anything holding tension in this direction. So. Okay. Next thing we're going to do, <coughs> excuse me, is to uh, tie all of our ties into well, in, in the corners of the box. We're going to tie our ties uh, to the PVC pipes. So just a quick overhand knot should be fine. And you'll notice right now we're just going to do the ones on the ends and on the center because the ones that are in the middle of the, the bar here will be used for securing the internal bath into the box. Okay, now we'll mount the internal baffle, and to make things easier here, we, uh, we just added little uh, aglets that we made out of, uh, out of scotch tape, and we actually just had to google the word aglet because we couldn't remember what it was. But, uh, <laughs> Okay, now we can take the box and mount it back to our stand. So we just uh, just hold it up uh, through the hole for the flash and mount it back to the box using our handy little vinyl wing nuts. Make sure that's nice and secure. Are, are they nylon wing nuts or vinyl wing nuts? Maybe they're vinyl. I don't know. They're plastic. You can get them at Lowe's. They're cheap. Uh, okay, so that's in place. The next piece is the uh, the front baffle. So we want to take our. Uh, you'll see we have Velcro on the edges of the baffle, and there's Velcro mounted on the inside of this flap here. So we're basically just going to take our baffle and secure it to the Velcro on that flap. And then the flash mount, oh, and you can see how easy that is. And then the flash mount uh, 
just mounts on this little rod that we have here. In this case, I'm mounting one of my little uh, Yong No flashes. I think that's how you pronounce it. I'm not sure. So what I what I like to do with these, since uh, we're often using them as an optical slave flash, I like mount it sideways. So we basically just take our flash and pop it in there like so. And it's nice and secure and not going anywhere. Um, and we've already we've already had the stand fall uh, a, a couple times and, and didn't get any damage. And the box held together very well, which was very nice. Because uh, one of the things that we were really excited about was making sure that it was nice and uh, secure. So uh, let me grab my camera. Where did I just leave my camera? Oh, it's on the chair. And just as a quick example, we'll fire up. Uh, the flash here, and right now I just have it in slave mode. Um, so we'll come back here and just fire the flash. So I'm not sure if you can actually see that on the uh, video there, but look, there you go. And that's pretty much it. Thanks for watching.